Okay, in this problem we're going to be working with 3D vectors. And they want us to determine the X, Y and Z component of this 600 Newton force. And in the second part they want us to find the angles theta X, theta Y and theta Z that the force forms with the coordinate axes. So, right here, and uh, this will be with the Y axis, so it's going to be theta Y coming down to X, right here, it's going to be theta X, and coming towards Z, it's going to be theta Z. First, I drew the Y component up here, right here, if you can see it. Then, I dropped it down here, and this will be my FH. This is just an intermediary tool that we're going to use so we can split it this way we're going to get our fx from it and then we're going to split it this way and we're going to get our fz from it okay we're going to be relying on this setup quite a lot we're going to use cosine theta which is x over the hypotenuse we're going to solve for x and therefore h time cosine we're going to solve for x and which will be equal to h times cosine theta. Okay, and first we're going to use it on Fy. Fy, right here, will be F times the cosine of 25. And I went ahead and plugged in 600 for our force. And with the calculator, we can get 543 newtons. Now let's go ahead and find FH, our intermediary value that will help us find FX and FZ. So what we do, we drop it down into the X and Z plane. And once it's down here, we'll be able to split it again and get our other two components. So for FH, we're going to use this triangle. and we're going to use this angle coming from F down to FH. And for that, we're going to, uh, that, this angle, we're going to calculate from this vertical line to this horizontal line. So 90 degrees minus 25. So FH equals, we're going to use this one again. FH equals 600 times cosine. 90 minus 25 and this will give us a value of 253 newtons and now we can go ahead and use this so we can find our other components fx for fx we're going to use this triangle right here our angle is 30 so we can go ahead right away and solve fh times cosine 30 with a calculator we get 219 newtons FZ, we're going to use this triangle right here. We can go ahead, FH times sine of 30. We know this angle, so this is the same as this. So we can use this angle and sine of 30. So instead of the cosine formula, we used sine formula. And that's all we changed. Now, let's go ahead and find our angles. For the theta, with respect to y, theta to the y-axis, it's given. So we know it's 25. There's no calculation needed. Okay, now let's work on finding fx. I mean, theta x. And we're going to use cosine again. But this time, we're going to solve for theta. So, we're going to be using this triangle right here. Right here, the one uh, would be coming from the tip of F down to our x-axis. And then to the origin and up here, where our theta x is. So we're going to use this triangle. We're going to write our fx equals f times cosine theta x. From here, we can solve for theta with inverse cosine 
fx over f plug in and we're gonna uh, let me adjust it so we can see we're gonna get 68.5 okay and now for our final theta z which will be from our f f uh, force coming down to the z axis right here this one okay for theta z we're gonna the triangle that we work with is this with the force and then from the tip of the force coming down to the tip of fz so from there we're gonna rely on cosine again and we're gonna write up fz equals f time cosine of theta z with cosine inverse we're gonna solve for the theta and with the calculator we get 77.8 degrees and that would conclude all of our uh, problems that we had to solve as you can see it's just a lot of work with triangles